So far with the latest Block Fruits updates, there have been a quite of decent amounts of sword reworks inside of the game. But there is one sword in the game that just got a rework that I have yet to get my hands on. And it all has something to do with our little portal fruit down here. And that sword in question is the Midnight Blade. And oh my god, you definitely want to stay tuned for this one because what I've seen from this sword rework, it is truly insane. So smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's go ahead and get our hands on this Midnight Blade itself. And the first step in getting my hands on this blade is that I need to make my way to the second seas. And now that I've arrived in the second seas, I need to start making my way all the way over to the haunted ship over there. Because in order for us to even get our hands on this blade, there is a certain NPC we need to talk to called L Admin. Alright, but we're approaching the ship. Time to go aboard! And then now that we're inside, I think if I just head on over into this room over here, boom, there he is, the L Admin himself. Why does he look like he's straight off a of Jersey Shore? Why, why he's so tan like that? What the? But let's go ahead and talk to this dude to see what we need. Exclamation point. Sorry. You need 100 ectoplasm to deal with me. 100 ectoplasm? Yeah, guys, this was exactly what I was talking about. In order for us to get our hands on this legendary sword, we need to accumulate up to 100 ectoplasm to buy it from him. And then on top of that, another 40 ectoplasm and 15 scrap to upgrade it. But plus 13% damage is not too bad. I would gladly do that. But looking at how much ectoplasm we have in game, we only have about 97. So we need about 43 more to go. So time to start the grind! Not even gonna lie though, I am so glad that all this grinding is on the second seas because I can literally just sure run through my opponents like it's nothing. But boom, there we go. We now have exactly 140 ectoplasm, which is just the perfect amount we need. So now hopefully I can head all the way back over here. And hey, L admin bro, am I ready now? Am I worthy now? Would you like to trade 100 ectoplasm for the midnight blade? Yes, I would. Trade 100 ectoplasm obtained midnight blade and oh there it is in our inventory the midnight blade oh my god this thing looks beautiful not only with our hockey on it but with our hockey off of it and now that we've gotten our hands on this blade i'm actually gonna real quick tp to docks too and i'm also gonna go ahead to the blacksmith over here and just right off the bat go ahead and upgrade our blade upgrade weapon to grade one plus 13 percent damage max upgrades apply so not only did we just freshly get our hands on this blade, but we already made it stronger too. And looking at the movesets on this sword, we're gonna need quite a bit of mastery, but they seem so menacing. A portal opening, crescent dash. And as I stated earlier, if you guys didn't know, but this sword that we have right here has something to do exactly with our little portal fruit down here. Because apparently all of our sword abilities are supposed to be very similar to all of our abilities on our little fruit down here. And I mean, if I can do super Super cool things with our sword just like I came with the fruit like I am right now then I'm all for it so it looks like it's time to make our way back to the third seas and uh, grind up some mastery. To the third seas we go! And here we are at the Tiki Outpost. And real quick, let me just go ahead and refund my stats. Boom, boom. And then just split the rest. Easy. And this is the newest final island inside of Blocks Fruit. So these NPCs should definitely give me the mastery I need. I'm already excited to see that first move called Portal Opening. So give me all that mastery. Ooh. Oh, and we're actually getting a good amount from shredding these guys. Oh my god, our Midnight Blade actually does a good amount of damage just from swings. 50k damage? All right, but don't mind me, buddy. Just gonna slice and dice so I can see these new, brand new reworked moves. And there we go, 152 mastery already. A new skill available. We have already unlocked our portal opening move like it was nothing. All right, but I want to see what this does. Load it up. Oh, we got the slice mover. Ready? Hit him with the portal opening. Yo! We just TP'd him around and sliced him up. 
Hold up, let's do that again. Portal opening, slice him up. Oh my god, 10k damage? No way did that move just do 10k damage right off the bat. That's crazy. Guys, we're only looking at one new move already, and it already looks amazing. Whoa. You know, this portal opening move is actually a lot similar to our little portal dash move that we have on our portal fruit. But instead of just slamming them around through the portals like that, we slice them up in the portal like this. That is insane. That does so much damage. Damage. And guys, if you think this first move is already insane, then make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I show you guys a super cool combo to do with the Midnight Blade and the Portal Fruit. All right, but now I need about double the mastery I just got to get our final move called Crescent Dash. Oh my god, why is there so much grinding in Blocks Fruits? Okay, but seriously though, the slicing damage, not too bad on this thing. I'm shredding NPCs. This sword actually does really good damage. I won't lie. I won't lie. Portal mains are definitely gonna go crazy with this one and already i can get in some pretty good combos with the moves that i have so far i can start off with that portal dash and then hit him with the portal opening right after then go into that parallel escape so he can't touch me but i can still touch him with the sword and the boom he just got shredded bro couldn't land a single hit on me i'm too fast i'm too fast okay but low key let me do it again because this is just a way too unfair of a combo they literally cannot land a hit on you you are literally untouchable like this but luckily with this next kill okay well that wasn't the kill but with this next kill i should get the mastery i need boom new skill available we have finally unlocked our final move called crescent dash as well all right but enough talking what does it do crescent dash bro what we just dashed into them and then sliced them so hard a portal opened what okay where'd you come from what hey guys only a 1v1 back it up back it up but, okay, okay. All right, but I want to see that crescent dash again. Hit him with it. Oh my god. We straight slice, bro, with the force of a portal. That's insane. Hold up. Let me do it again. Crescent dash. Oh my god. The effects are so nice. Guys, these new effects compared to the old effects on the Midnight Blade are just way better. Not only with the portal opening, but with the crescent dash as well. But guys, now that we finally unlocked the final move that we needed, there is actually a super cool combo between the Midnight Blade and the portal fruit that's inside of this game. And today, I'm gonna be teaching it to you. And the combo actually isn't even that hard to do. You just wanna start off with your Portal X for the stun, then Midnight X, then Portal Z, Midnight Z. And look at that, 20k damage. Bro is already almost dead. Let's do it to him again. Portal X, Midnight X, Portal Z. And oh my god, bro just got shred. I didn't even get to do the Midnight Z. There's also another combo you can do with Sanguine, where you do your little Portal X again for the stun. Done, then your portal z then your sanguine c then your midnight x then your sanguine x oh, look at that bro is almost dead bro is already almost dead hit him with the blood drain okay that was the wrong npc chill 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 Woo! but i'm not gonna lie guys this midnight blade is just amazing the effects go so hard and not only that but the combos go so hard too that is insane and now that we fully leveled up our little midnight blade down here there is one final thing i need to do for today's video video and that is make my way to the turtle mansion to do my daily roll so come on give me something good demon needs a new pair of shoes and ooh, light fruit okay i will gladly take that not too bad oh i have 11 of each fruit okay you know what i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna leave this here on the table for someone to find but boom guys that is the brand new midnight blade inside of blocks roots smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like these